I'm an award-winning scientist, lecturer, teacher, and a football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. The lawsuit between Rosa and Finra. Finra has responded and it smells absolute corruption to me, uh, the, their response. So there is a lot of discussions whether Finra is above law. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys a tool, especially if you're a lawyer uh, or if you are thinking about using a lawyer, I'll show you a strategy to find the best arguments against Finra. I will also give you my honest thoughts on the whole situation and let's get started. So first of all, what, what are the honest thoughts? Finra has been manipulated. Those notices were not written by Finra. They were written by the hedge fund uh, friends. They were written by these brokers who actually were in trouble. What FINRA action has done is it has given them time. It has given them time to think. Uh, the fact that they are charging fees to the shareholders to transfer the shares to AST smells so rotten. It smells rotten to the core. So delighted that I'm out of uh, stock market except for this particular play. And if you are a MMTLP family member who is suffering, I have a plan for you. I'm going to start my uh, Discord and I will teach you from scratch how to utilize blockchain how to research good blockchains and invest in them how to protect yourself against scams also i will teach you the DeFi sector eliminate these brokers you eliminate these banks so one of the response to john burda's tweet that i sent was that if we had the own capacity to have our own shares for example if i hold bitcoin i withdraw it to my private wallet that private wallet is controlled by me and by me only. No government, no one has access to it. Similarly, the direction of uh, travel in the stock market should be that we should be able to hold our own stocks in our own ledger. We don't need a broker. We do company to people directly and we need to eliminate these middlemen. And that's what blockchain and crypto has done in, in the field in which I am. And I'm so pissed off that I'm going to teach every single one of you to recover all your losses if possible. Not financial advice, of course. So please stay tuned because I have a legal contract with the university. Uh, I don't want to be in breach of it. So I'm setting up a company. I'm just getting legal advice. How to do it in a way that nothing is broken. I love my day job, folks. That Those, those are my honest thoughts. They have just bought time and they are slowly and steadily trying to resolve the issue because if this issue comes to the light to general public honestly the whole american stock market about 30 trillion stock market is in danger of losing its face i have no doubt that it is corrupt i have experienced this before and that's why i moved away however once the investors find out why would they list a company in any of american stock exchange why they would much rather go to asia bombay singapore hong kong and i think that's their opportunity as well to kind of show that their exchanges are actually regulated properly whereas american exchanges are not regulated at all they are the ponzi schemes by the way guys do give me a follow on eat healthy get r1 i only make one video a week i however i do post all my buys and sells on the uh, twitter and i posted something about uh, chat gpt in terms of education so let's utilize chat gpt to investigate finra this is gonna be fun session folks uh, i would encourage you to download chat gpt and play with it so let's start with a simple question to chat gtp what is history of finra here we go for those who don't know this uh, chat gpt is basically artificial intelligence tool you can use it for anything you can ask it for anything you can ask it to summarize things i think this is going to change the way business is conducted forever so as you can see it has just spit out what finra is now let's ask chat gpt can you sue finra now i'm using this deliberately because finra's uh, response to rosa's lawsuit was it's above law <laughs> it's made by congress made by lawmakers you cannot do anything for our actions so let's see so as a self-regulatory organization finra is not a government agency therefore cannot be so sued in the same way guys so this is very clever language here by uh, chat gpt so it cannot be sued in the same way but it can be sued so that's my first impression you may be able to file a dispute through finra's arbitration process now nah, we are not interested they are corrupt this okay so this is not serving uh, uh, as well so i'm gonna change it to let's say has anyone ever successfully sued finra okay all right so it just spits out the first same as above
Again, it says it cannot be sued in the same way. So we need to find that way that how can we sue FINRA if, if So it is possible that a court could hear a case. So which was the case with Rosa? Okay, so it is also possible that an individual or firm may seek to challenge a decision or action taken by FINRA through a legal proceeding. So yeah, okay. Okay, so again, I think that's what FINRA implied in their response as well by the way uh, that's just a response it's up to the judge to decide if that response is fine i know the system it's corrupt it's they bought the time they're just kicking the can down the road they if you uh, go by a hashtag finra fraud it's gonna let's see how long it can trend and this is what they're banking on they think that the community will back off and yeah it will be just another case uh, rugged under the carpet can you give examples of cases against FINRA that were suck. So it, it is a large data set, uh, the, the artificial intelligence, the way it works, it, it reads the data sets and then answers. So can you give examples of cases against FINRA that were successful? Okay, so again, uh, it's just spewing the same thing. So FINRA is subject to oversight by SEC, which is also corrupt. <laughs> there is no solution for us retail tards. <laughs> we are retail and we are retarded. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. So there are some examples here. 2017 federal court in New York ruled in favor of Fowler who has brought a lawsuit against he had been wrongly terminated in so that's a separate case uh, through a legal procedure 20 broke substantial condition oh oh guys you are on to something here so in 2018 a brokerage firm so this these are these are the guys who are actually uh, probably uh, so they are small brokerages top brokerages small ones always uh, uh, are under the knife the larger ones, which are the corrupt ones, probably uh, <laughs> this brokerage firm must have suffered. So, 2018, a brokerage firm successfully challenged FINRA decision to find the firm for alleged... Okay, so again... So, we can probably argue the same. So, uh, again, if Rosa is watching, John Burda is watching, Tony or Ali or Bird Lady, the firm argued that FINRA's decision was arbitrary, capricious, and the court agree overturning the fine. So these are relatively rare, as most disputes between investors and financial firms are resolved through FINRA's arbitration process rather than through the courts. But we have an issue with FINRA. How can we sue FINRA if it has acted in a bad faith? Okay, again, so same answer in the beginning. So, uh, if you believe that FINRA has acted in bad faith or has violated the law, you may be able to file a complaint with the SEC or with a court. Okay. It is important to note that burden of proof, uh, we have so much proof, uh, artificial intelligence, chat GPT, we have the proof. Uh, it is important to note the burden of proof, FINRA has acted improperly. Uh, well, we have the proof about brokerages, FINRA probably is a puppet to these brokerages. Okay, so attorney who has experience in these types of folks. So again, I think I'm MTLP family. Maybe we all need to um, come together. There was a tweet by Ali, I think, saying that let's all contribute ten dollars each and hire the best lawyer. I'll be up for it. Um, if you guys want, I can do it via crypto. I can set up a wallet. If all the donations can come through that wallet, it will be naked on the blockchain. We can give a lawyer, find a good lawyer. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here. It is worth noting that most disputes... All right. So again, I think we are up against a big corrupt organization. Uh, but it is possible to uh, sue FINRA. So the way FINRA has claimed in that court that it is above the law is not correct. So uh, it has acted in the bad faith. And I think it has violated the law. 
So let's keep up the pressure, folks. That's all I have to say. Um, this is New Year. Once my company is set, I'm going to open my Discord and I will encourage all the MMTLP family members to come join and I'll teach you how to uh, passively generate uh, income just using the DeFi sector. I will also educate from scratch. I will treat you if there will be stuff for experienced people, there will be stuff for people who have no experience whatsoever. But please give me time because um, I have to do it legally. Uh, as you know, I am a <laughs> scientist and I absolutely love the work I do. And at the same time, I need to be very, very careful because I'm in public sector. Uh, I am in the eyes of public. I, I, I regularly go to BBC to discuss COVID, to discuss uh, cancer, to discuss um, my latest research. So uh, I need to be careful, folks. So please bear with me. But I will have that Discord set up and I will teach as many people as possible to escape this corruption. If you like these videos, hit the like, subscribe and please also comment below the video and tell me if just go and play with chat GPT folks, who knows, <laughs> who knows. So the, the main conclusion is we can sue uh, Finra uh, if it has acted in a bad faith, which it has. So fingers crossed, keep the pressure up folks, Taranjit out and I'll see you in the next video.